Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today let's talk about the all new Hero Expulse 200. The Expulse 200 has always been a special dual purpose machine in our country. Given its displacement, pricing and most importantly capabilities of the road. There is absolutely nothing that come close to it at this point in time. But remember, this is a dual purpose motorcycle and if there was anything that this bike was lacking, it would have to be engine refinement, especially in the mid and top end range. The bike was all there to be felt when you set off the highway. This was the case when Hero came out with BS6 version of the Expulse 200 last year. But this year, the company has put even more effort into improving this already outstanding machine. This is the Expulse 200 4V. When Hero says that it takes the feedback from its customer seriously, we would tend to believe them because the company certainly done so with the Expulse. For instance, take the 2V BSX Expulse 200 that came out last year. Some felt that the switch gear need to be changed around. Things like the rocker style high beam switch kept dropping off for some reason. So in steps, Hero to address this issue by changing the switch gear with the all new Hero Expulse 200 4V. And while it doesn't look very special, it feels built to last and good to use. Then there is the headlight of the older BS6 bike which most felt to be weak. In comes Hero with a tweaked unit that's supposed to be 20% brighter than before. But I can attest that there is honestly still room for improvement on this front. Now the most significant of changes with this motorcycle has to be the engine. The 4V in the bike names stand for 4 walls, which is 2 more than the older Expulse 200 model. Adding 2 walls reduces the pressure on the wall train and allow the engine to go about its business a lot more smoother and clear, especially at high revs. This has also meant a slight bump up in power by 1 PS and 1 Newton meter of torque which might not sound rather insignificant. But it doesn't just end there. The oil cooler is slightly bigger to help the engine cope better. The gear ratio has been altered and even the rear sprocket has grown in size. And now it has a 70th more than before to distribute power and torque better. And all this translate to the Expulse being a lot more highway friendly and a better touring machine. The added power and torque are spread a lot more evenly across the power band. The first two gears of the Expulse 5 speeder are really short and are more suited to off-road riding scenario. You will often find yourself in third when you are in pottering around town at city speeds while 4th and 5th gears are tall and more suited to speeds out on the open highways. A great thing of the Expulse 4V is that now the engine is lot more refined. It sounds a bit gruff the higher you climb up the power band, but it definitely feels less stressed than before. The bike gets off a line a lot quicker. And even at low speed in gear acceleration feels a lot livelier. Pick up the pace out of an open road, the motor doesn't feel like out of its element like before. And you can hit a speed of 80 to 90 km per hour at 6500 rpm and holds it in there very comfortably. 100 km per hour also feels a very manageable as well. And there is even some more power in store to pull off an overtake on vehicle traveling at that speed. But it feels overworked crossing the 110 km per hour mark at little over 7500 rpm. 
Another point to note here are the barely any vibration to be felt around the 100 km per hour mark which makes hero effort on this front loadable. The diamond type chassis is still the same as before and if you have ridden the older Xpuls 200 you will know that's never going to be a bad thing. The suspension units at both ends and even the brakes with single channel ABS have been carried over from the older BS6 bike which came out last year. The instrument cluster is the same, just the Bluetooth connectivity software has been received an update. Off the road, the Expels remains just an impressive and capable machine as it was before. It still got that remarkable go anywhere attitude. It's light easy to maneuver and more importantly a lot of fun to ride. The suspension is meant to tackle the rough stuff road. But we all know how out here in India our road condition can just test the limit of any suspension units. It's a bike that really makes a lot of sense for country like ours. Because it's just good at ironing out the rough stuff whether you are hitting a bumps on purpose or not. And now, with the new updates, Hero has strengthened the bike dual purpose credential. It's a perfect learning tool if you are getting used to riding a off-road. More experienced riders will fancy the rally kit, which gives you better ground clearance, better knobby tires, adjustable front suspension, flat bench seat, extended lever, and so on. Another thing that deserves a mention with the Xpulse 4V is its seat padding. And this makes a world of difference. It's a lot firmer now. And your back and your backside won't be crying out of a mercy as soon as you head out on a long ride. And that's something that has literally helped make the Xpulse a better machine in the long run. Now, while the Hero Xpulse really excelled the off-road, it was never really known to be a great highway tourer. Now, have the company addressed the stator of this particular vehicle? Yes, it most certainly has. Now it's not only engine, the gearbox or even the new ratio of sprocket, but it's more of how it all came together. Including the little bits like the seat, that makes the Xpulse a better motorcycle than the previous two wall iteration was. Considering the fact that all these new changes and bits comes for just rupees 6000 over the older 2V model, Hero have certainly sweetened the deal with this one. I hope you like the video and the details provided on all new Hero Xpulse 200. Please do like, support and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.